Hey guys, this is Miss Britt. I am going to go over your math for today. Um, you will have two problems at the end of this, but I want to help you better understand fractions on a number line. So let's read what it says. Looking at the number of equal parts helps, tell you, helps you think about fractions on a number line. That is super important. So I'm gonna underline that. Looking at the number of equal parts helps you think about fractions on a number line. So we gotta look at the number of equal parts. So when you look at a number line, you look to see how many pieces it is cut into between whole numbers. So start at zero, and then the first whole number you come to is one, of course. How many pieces is this number line cut into from zero to one? How many pieces are here? We count the spaces. One, two, three. If it is cut into three equal parts or three equal spaces, then your denominator is going to be three every single time. Three, three, three. Okay, so that's my denominator. Now I just need to see where I'm at. I was talking to Miss Zoe and she informed me that this part right here is also known as zero thirds. Yep. And then once you travel one space and you land right here on this tick mark, these are called tick marks, when you land right here on this tick mark, then that is one third. And then when you travel again to the next one right here, that is your second space, one and two. So that spot is two thirds. And then if you travel again one more time, then that is three thirds. And I've talked to you guys a little bit and told you that anytime you have the same numerator, excuse me, the same numerator and the same denominator, that you are going to be at one whole. And that is true if you look at your number line. We are at one whole. So three thirds is one whole. So how many equal parts are there? There are three equal parts. I'm going to write my answer over here because I've run out of room over there. There are three equal parts. What fraction does each part show? That is also known as a unit, and I have to write in cursive in order for it to work. That is also known as a unit fraction. So unit fraction, what's the unit fraction? What does each part show? Each part shows one third, perfect. So my unit fraction is one third. And then write the missing labels on the number line, which we've already done because we are super smart. All right, friends, let's roll on to number three. Look at the sections between zero and one. So we gotta go zero to one. How many sections do we have? We have to look at that in order to know how many pieces our number line is cut into. We have one, two, three, four, five, I'm running out of room, six, seven, eight. So how many pieces is our number line cut into? It is cut into eight pieces, so that makes eight our what? Perfect denominator. So eight is my denominator because that's how many pieces it is cut into. All right. Now we know, looking at the very first one, that this is zero. So that's gonna be zero eighths. And then what comes after zero? Perfect, one eighth. And then we have, what do we have next? two eighths because we've traveled two out of the eight pieces. We traveled two out of the eight pieces and then